Right, Jerry, we're going through the groups then now, so let's take a look at it if you're a betting man. Now, these odds will obviously change, but they, it, the way they have it at the minute, like Bayern Munich, uh, the, the defending champions, they're the favourites. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Chelsea, United City, PSG, Juventus, and then the rest. Uh, do, do they have do they have it about right? You you would see the the winners coming out of those the top, three top the top six, six or seven are, are definitely right. You know, Bayern Munich, Barcelona are the odds on favourites. Real Madrid third favourites. Chelsea, Manchester United, Man City, PSG, Juventus. You can't, I can't fault that. That that would be about right. But the good odds, the good bets for me. I'm looking at Atletico Madrid thirty three to one. I'm looking at Napoli fifty to one. You know, these teams could cause an upset. You'll get good odds on them in mm -hmm. certain matches, and I think that's where the. The, the bets can can really get interesting. Nobody in that lower half, I, I think, other than Napoli, have a chance in AC Milan. AC Milan's good pedigree as well. Mm. As long as they've got the strength and depth, they could cause an upset or two. But certainly the top six or seven are where you have to look for the, the eventual. And winners. depending on the draw, who would you see in the final, basically? Or who would you the see draw, the team? Uh, Bayern Munich, you always look at the German sides. They're physically strong. And, and under Pep Guardiola, he'll want to create an impact. And he, he'll want to win the league again. And he'll want to win the, the Champions League again. But Barcelona, Barcelona for me, are still a good side. But if they haven't got the defenders, that's going to cause enough problems. Uh, Real Madrid, I think, are a very good bet. Real Madrid are an excellent bet. I, under Ancelotti, I can see them developing everything and uh, becoming a, a much better side. I think that phone call probably was from uh. Barcelona because they probably <laughs> were complaining to say the fact that they, you reckon that they might... You're saying, Jerry, that Barcelona could maybe only go to the last eight? Yes, if they don't sort the centre half problem out, I think up against the right opposition. Again, it's a draw, Logie. If the opposition is not good, then they can lose. They can quite easily lose, and it's all hinging on Messi. Everything hinges on Messi. Messi scores more goals than Ronaldo every year. Just say Messi gets injured for two or three months. <laughs> Who's going to score the goals? It must kill Ronaldo. He scores <laughs> like Ronaldo scores three one week. I remember that he scored three one week, and then Messi goes out and scores four. four. He gets this world record signing all this money like that, and then they're going to give Messi, Messi more. more. It must break his heart. It uh, does. It does. But you know, Manchester City. I've always said they've a good squad, but they hadn't got maybe the right manager at, at, at the helm to guide them through Europe. Now Pellegrini has got the the quality and, and the experience to maybe do well so Manchester City another good bet yeah, so one thing I would look at those odds are I would put Man City ahead of United and Chelsea yeah, right so would I. I would put City a bit fourth yeah, well, I've got Manchester City as my team to win the league this year in the Premier League. I think they. they no, the I, I took the got. Premier League. Agree with yeah. that. But what about the Champions League? Then? Well, definitely ahead of Manchester United. But see, Manchester City's got no quality in terms of uh, a proven yeah, ability a pedigree, in terms yeah. of pedigree in terms of the the Champions League. So that's why they're behind Manchester United and Chelsea. So who's your winner? My winner. I'm going to stick with Real Madrid. I'm going to go with Real Madrid. They've got the squad and they've got the players. Xavi Alonso will be back fit again within the next six or eight weeks. Arbeloa will be fit in the next couple of weeks. They've got Contrao to come in at left back. Marcelo to come in at left back. And they've added to it. You've got Isco who's come in. You've got Di Maria who's sitting on the bench now. A good, good impact player. You've got, I think, Gareth Bale could be the, the secret weapon. They call him and they call Ronaldo, Ronaldo in Spain Los Dos Torpedos, the two torpedoes. You know, that was because they played a couple of weeks ago, they played via VRL here, the yellow submarine. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are the two torpedoes. Those two can cause a lot of problems and score a lot of goals. They can win it this year for Real Madrid. The interesting thing too, listen, as a fellow, I, I would like Barcelona and uh, I wouldn't disagree with that and, and I wouldn't mind if Real Madrid won it because I felt that Mourinho brought a lot of the wrong things to Real Madrid with the great history they had. And I think that, you know, the new man will, will go back to the, the, the proper ethos of Real Madrid, I think. Yeah, Ancelotti's proven that he's a good manager. He's won titles he's won leagues he's won championships everywhere and again he's a good manager I think for Real Madrid and he's brought the right ethos back they'll play the right football and they'll have the right toughness as long as the, you know Varane's been out injured at the start of the season for uh, and I like him this young French centre half so it means Pepe and, and uh, Sergio Ramos are the two centre backs and then there's the argument over uh, Diego Lopez in goal and Casillas two of the top goalkeepers in the world you know they've got a fantastic squad it's just getting them all knitted and bedded in together and picking the right 11 every week I think they'll do really well well I'll go and answer that phone call now it's probably the wife looking at me she can't get enough of me that right Jerry that's it Jerry, thanks very much bye all the very best <laughs> thank you